Hey everyone, it's Kino here. When you begin the practice of yoga, it's very important to give yourself a long journey. Yoga is an endurance game, not a sprint. And you want to think about creating a sustainable practice that will be with you for every day of your life. For the true benefits of yoga happen in the body, the mind, and more importantly, in the spirit. Today we'll be taking a look at Marichasana A. This fundamental seated pose from the Ashtanga Yoga method will help give you access into deeper hip flexion and help give you deeper access into the inner space of the pelvis. When you begin to embark on this journey, remember that you don't have to get there in one breath or one day, but instead surrender to the long journey and take one step with each breath so that you embark on the journey of yoga really one breath at a time. Come to the front of your mat and we'll begin. Warming up the body with a few sun salutations. Inhale, raise the hands above the head, gazing forward towards the thumbs. Exhale, suck the belly in, fold, go down. Inhale, chest up and forward. Let's take it easy and step back. Hold the plank for a moment. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hold it there for a moment. Five breaths, one. Two, three, four, and five. Let's look forward and inhale. Walk your feet forward between the hands. Lift the chest, look up. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, rise up through the center line. Exhale, back to Samasthiti. Bend your knees, Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, raise the arms, gazing up to the thumbs. Exhale, through the hip joints, fold. Inhale, chest up and forward. Exhale, taking it easy, let's just step back. Hold the plank for a moment, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down. Slide back, Dandasana for a moment. Hands next to your hips, chin down. One, two, three, four, and five. From here, bend your right knee into the chest, suck the belly deeply in, and start to fold your torso away from your right thigh, and then gently move down pivoting your torso forward. Now you can let your right hip come a little off the ground, but try to keep it grounded, so don't let it fly totally off. 